What are the pros and cons for wine in your spine? Hi, I'm Dr. John Shim, and I want to explore the effects of wine and alcohol on your body, and more specifically, your spine. The scientific data continues to evolve, and I will tell you that the medical community is in a tug of war over this very subject. Let's just accept that the concept that too much alcohol is bad for you is real. It causes many bad things like liver disease and is a major cause of traffic fatalities in the United States. On the other hand, some research has suggested benefits to mild to moderate levels of daily alcohol consumption. There is some data to suggest that moderate consumptions of alcohol can actually protect your heart. So what is the story about wine and your spine? Well, like all things, it comes down to you as an individual. Alcohol often does have a relaxation effect and many patients swear their back spasms are reduced by a glass of their favorite adult beverage. Red wine contains resveterol, a chemical that may have potent antioxidant effects. While researchers are conducting studies about anti-aging, it may also have benefits of decreased inflammation. Other research suggests red wine has a pain blocking effect as well as a bone preservation property. Still, the cons will point out that alcohol consumption can lead to weight gain and some people actually have more pain associated with consumption. As a doctor, I always recommend moderation. For men, a general rule of up to two beverages a day and women, one beverage a day is considered a moderate amount of alcohol consumption. If it improves your spine pain without the added risks of weight gain or increased pain, it may be a reasonable option. For some of you, there may be other medical conditions that preclude the use of alcohol in any amount. Please consult with your personal physician if you have concerns. Remember, moderation. This is Dr. John Shim, and I hope you will consider your choices as you explore wine and your spine. Thank you.